Hey guys, my name is Ali. On this channel, we talk about making money online. If this is something you're interested in, please hit that subscribe button and continue on watching. Uh, today, I have a quick uh, tutorial uh, for you guys. It's um, uh, it's a pretty short tutorial. Uh, if you plan on making on uh, building a website or a landing page or uh, a blog, whatever it is, you know the most important thing to have is uh, everybody uses their mobile device for um, to to. Um, to uh I can't think of the word <laughs> I hate that everybody moves their mobile uses their mobile device to view their their um basically they're doing viewing more things on mobile device than desktop that's what I'm trying to get to all right finally it came out so um if you happen to go to a, a website like Pexels let me go in here real quick and um <clears throat> basically it gives you free like say we can look for office, look up the word office, just any photo or office. But what happened is with Pexels, it's Pexels.com. It's spelled P-E-X-E-L-S or yeah, P-E-X-E-L-S.com. Uh, but anyway, so you get to download um, free photos from this website, which is really nice and you can reuse them. But um the reason I'm doing this video because these photos here are really, really large photos, and uh, they range in size. They range in size anywhere from five megs and up, five megabytes or five megabits, whatever you want to call it, doesn't matter. But these photos are very, very high resolution. So if I would download this photo right now, for example, all right, say download it. It's downloaded now. I'm waiting for it to download. If I come down here, and if I go to um, to look at the photo uh, hold on a second guys yeah we're not gonna do that <clears throat> okay so now after we download this photo from Pexels if you come back here and check the size by going to show more options and go down to property you can see that the the photo is one meg. I'm gonna to try to download another one because this is pretty small. Most of these photos are like giant in size. Like let's go, let's go with this, okay? We're gonna go with that one. We're gonna go free download and it's downloading right here. Boom, downloaded. Uh, this thing's pretty tiny, it says 412 KB. That's really unusual. Normally these photos are really massive. Let's try this, okay? Um, go free download. Okay, this here is one point. This is all small stuff. That's weird. Okay, let's go. Let's go with um. Mm, let me see videos, users. Mm, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's find something that's. Um, let's pick that one. See what that is. Download. And. Uh, that one's 1 1.7. That's really strange. I thought most of the photos that get downloaded are usually over 5 megabytes. But I don't know, for some reason here, <clears throat> if we go in here and show details, go view, show, ba -ba 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 -ba, view, and then details, you can see that this thing is like 1.7, 1.3. Those are all pretty tiny. But I just want to show you guys uh, like a large photo, for example, okay? Let's come back here. Let's find, uh, this one may be big, I don't know. It doesn't really give you any information right here. So let's go ahead and download it and see what it says over here. After it downloads, it should show you the size. That's 1.3, that's kind of small. Let's look at this one here. Da wait, wait a second, we didn't have to do that. We can just come here and download it. And um, anyway, if you guys are interested in making money online, please check out the links, in the, the links that I have in the description. They're all hand-picked offers. And uh, if you want to ditch your nine to five and um, start living the laptop, uh, the laptop lifestyle, and make money from home, um, check out the links that I have below and get started on them. It's all free offers, and uh, they're excellent, hand picked. I'm making money myself using the same offers. Anyway, let's try that one. Okay, I'm trying to find. If I, this is not gonna, those are all pretty small, but it doesn't matter. All right, so we're gonna come back here. Okay. Whenever, whenever you get a big, big, large photo, it doesn't matter where it comes from. You know, it doesn't matter what the source is. But if we're going to come back here, we're going to sort them by size, right? We're going to find the biggest one, which is right here. Okay. 
that one here okay and this one is 1.7 megs right so all you got to do I'm, I'm running off of windows 10 but windows i mean window i'm running off of windows 11 but windows 10 will be able to do the same thing so you don't have to use any third party software or um have to buy anything windows itself will do that for you so all you got to do is just double um open up the uh photo in the uh, in the photo app that's a, that comes with windows just click on these dots over here the three dots on the right and you see where it says resize image and you can just click on that and down here it shows you that it's um 1.7 megs that's the current size and if you want to make it bigger if you want to make it higher resolution you can actually go that way you can go and you can bring it up to from 1.7 you can bring it up to um <clears throat> excuse me you can bring it up to 7.2 so you can resize it whichever way up or down but what i'm trying to do here i'm trying to shrink it down as small as possible because I want my page to load fast because we all know uh, uh, slow uh, loading pages causes the um, uh, everybody to bounce off the page and basically your 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 website's not doing its job or a landing page so what I did I, I moved this all the way down quality 10% low and um, as you guys can see it shrank it down to about a half a mag okay and it's a JPEG extension all you got to do is just hit save and it's going to bring you over here and you can just save it and call it small and then one maybe or something like that in case you are going to do two or three so we're going to save it and um just a little bit ago i was building uh i went to a google blog and i was building la -da 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 -da. let me find that page here hold on a second guys okay here we go let me bring it i have two screens so i'm working off of the other side but anyway so I'm, i was building this blog right here i put in my um I've already set up, um, I put in the blog name, uh, Credit Repair. I um, I wrote this article here with the help of Jet, Chat GPT. I put in um, my credit, my, uh, what do you call it, affiliate link right here. Um, what you do, you just click on the text where you want it, where you want it to be clickable or um, what's it called? Um, I can't think of the right word, hyperlinked. So you click on the text, you highlight it, and you click on this little link over here, and it tells you, it asks you what, what do you want it to, um, no, I clicked on the wrong thing. Now, how do I get out of that? You click on this little, after you highlight, like say right here, okay? Like say, um, if I want to pick out another word, hold on. Um, understanding credit score. If I want this word, credit score, okay? I would come down here and highlight it, right? Okay. Hang on a second, guys. I'm not doing a great job. I hope everybody's doing really well. I uh, want to wish everybody a uh, Merry Christmas. And uh, I know we're getting pretty close. Kids are out of school and all that. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Um, I'm down south, so the weather's been really, really nice lately. Anyway, so what I did, I highlighted this link here, okay? So what I'll do, I'll uh, click on this link. You see where it says insert, insert, or edit link? You would click on that, and you would put in... Um, paste or search link so I will put in my link in here let me let me find the link hang on a second guys I gotta go off on my other screen um, blah 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 where is it 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 somewhere around here uh, where is it mm, ba, 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 ba. maybe here e, um, ba, 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 ba. I gotta go to Bitly there it is and I'm gonna come back here and grab my credit repair link I'm going to copy that and I'm going to come back to <clears throat> the blog and put that in here and I would hyperlink it and uh, nope, I must have done something wrong because no, 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 it's right. You see how it's all blue now? Understanding credit score. So when they click on credit score, it's going to take them to the web page. But the whole the, the point of this video here is not how to hyperlink, but I'm just trying to teach you guys as much as possible. Uh, when you use Google Blogger, this is all free. It's blogger.com. Um, and you go in there, if, if you have a Google account, you automatically have a, a blogger account. So it's the same thing. But what I did, I, I basically created these, um, uh, images, but I don't, on a mobile, I don't want this thing to take forever to download or to load up the page. So what I did, I went to, um, um, window, uh, photo viewer in windows and I resized the photos. Like this one here was like five megs and I shrank it down to about, I don't know half a mag or so so what i'm gonna come what i'm gonna do i'm gonna come down here and i'm gonna go um i'm gonna add another link like right here not link i meant to say photo so put a little gap over here click on this upload photo from computer 
and then his choose file and then you would go to the one that we just resized which is really small and we're gonna go select the one thing we can do over here you can click on whoops add caption I don't want to add ca caption in. Uh, we want to click on this and I want to make it a little larger and another thing you want to do you want to come up here and hit the uh, hyperlink paste your link put that in here and I like to have it open in a new window and you're gonna save it make sure you hit update over here every time you build a blog I mean I mean every time you update your blog make sure you um, hit the update button over here okay perfect so the moral of the story guys is anytime you want to show I mean that show anytime you want to shrink a photo make sure you just you don't have to go anywhere just stay in Windows open up a random photo let me let me close this here and I'm gonna go back to my photos <clears throat> excuse me give me a second here um, I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna um, I'm gonna pick the second photo here okay it's automatically it's gonna open up in Windows that's a beautiful office here I mean it's pretty generic but you know whatever so what are we gonna do is just hit the three dots we're gonna go down to resize image and we can either size it up it's 1.6 right now you can bring it up to almost six mags or you can shrink it all the way down where it's only like half a mag and that's what we need because we, the smaller it is the quicker your page is going to load loading uh, pages that load really slow it's going to create a lot of problems uh, basically everybody's going to bounce and you're going to lose your traffic and make sure it stays in pixel not in percentage okay so right now it's trying down to um, um, 5,669 pixel by 3,785 pixel, which is pretty tiny. It's only um, five meg, or not five megs, half a meg. As you guys can see, it's um, 530 KBs. So anyway, we're gonna hit save, and it's gonna save it down here. I'm gonna call it small. I can I can call it credit repair because that's what the thing is. You can name it whatever you want. I'm gonna call it small, not mall, small. And I'm gonna call it two. We're gonna save it. Um, we're gonna go back to the article, which is my blog that I was building. We're gonna come down here and I'm gonna put another gap in between these two. And, uh, okay, hold on a second. Let me put a little gap here. And I'm gonna go upload photo from a computer and we're gonna grab that one we just uploaded, the one after we, sh the one after one, the one that we shrank. Okay, and go right here. You can put an alt text if you want, but all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make it a little larger, and I'm gonna link it to my. Uh, no, I don't want it to go here. I want it to go to my my uh, Bitly link, which is right here I'm gonna copy that I'm gonna minimize this I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna go control a control V I'm gonna hit open up a new window I'm gonna close this make sure remember to hit update okay guys hit update all the time and if you want to preview it just hit the preview right here and here's the website so basically if I click if I click on the image I want to do it from here but anyway if you want to preview mobile that's a mobile look how beautiful that looks Everything is already optimized. You don't have to do anything. And if you want to go with a tablet, you can see what it looks like on a tablet, which is pretty nice also. And if you want to view it on a desktop or a laptop, that's what it looks like, okay? So that's a preview option. We're just going to go ahead and close that because we can't do any editing here. But one thing you can do to help the SEO is um, find um, popular, um, what's it called, um, keywords and make sure you add them all into your um, into your blog. This way when people are looking for credit repair, they'll be able to find um, your page. Another thing too I did in the bottom here, I added a bunch of uh, hashtags. I had I have uh, credit repair, financial freedom, personal finance, credit score, debt management. So all these little things help out, okay? In conclusion here, I got a little bit of conclusion going on. So it's, it's a one page blog, but it kind of gives you a quick rundown on what you need to do. So what I did, I hyperlink this image. I hyperlink this, hyperlink that part. 
uh, this image is hyperlinked and this image is hyperlinked. So if anybody searches for credit repair, this will come up. They click on it and then boom, that's all she wrote, okay? I hope this video had helped you guys. If it did, please uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And thank you very much and um, for spending your time with me. I enjoy um, reading your comments. So if you want to share your thoughts with me, please leave them in the description below. Have a wonderful day. Merry Christmas. And if I don't, see you, if I don't talk to you before the new year, happy new year. Bye-bye.